Charles, uh, you've been doing this tournament thing for a while, but have you seen one like this with so many upsets and an 11 seed in Loyola getting it to the Final Four? Well, I think it's a really great thing that Loyola's here. I mean, they, they, they're a really good basketball team. But as I said, with the one and done and teams like Loyola who have seniors and a three-point shot, it's going to be more upsets every year. You know, that's – that's the landscape now because you know a lot of these colleges have to reload every year and if you're lucky to get guys to stay three and four years and then like I said the three-point shot they've changed the game so uh, it's going to be a lot more upsets every year but this Loyola run has been pretty cool. As you know you don't win games on paper but watching these Ramblers they're the real deal they can ball and they have a chance to win this game against Michigan. Why do you think Loyola can beat the Wolverines? Well, cause they, you know, they're really the same team. They both, uh, the big guy in the middle is terrific. And they spaced the floor. Are you talking about Mo Wagner or for Crutwig? Uh, uh, what's his name again? Cameron Crutwig. Yeah, yeah, I can't say that. Cameron, <laughs> I call him Cruddy. Uh, Cruddy is uh, one of, he, I call him the, the white Zach Randolph. He's so fundamentally sound. He doesn't get a lot of elevation, but he's a terrific player, just like Zach Randolph is a great player. Great hands, great feet. Yes, great hands, great feet. And he goes to show you, you don't have to be able to just run and jump like a deer to be successful. And all the guys on the outside can really stroke it, and uh, that's what makes them really good. If you can shoot, you can play basketball anywhere. And both teams play defense. I mean, Loyola guards, they held three of their opponents to 62 mm -hmm. points. You do that, you're going to win most games, aren't you? Well, really, you're not going to hold this team to 62 points mm -hmm. uh, because what's interesting, all four of these teams live and die by the three-point shot. Mm -hmm. So and what the, what's going to be interesting is who can play the best defense because, you know, it sucks playing basketball in a dome. Uh, shooters will tell you there's no – you go back and look, like the last ten championship games have been some of the worst shooting games ever because you can't get any visual because of the dome. So uh, what's, it's going to be interesting who can play the best defense. As a basketball purist, how much joy does Loyola give you with the way they play the game? Well, uh, first of all, because, you know, I hate the way they play the game today. So uh, I really – I hate the one and done and things like that. Uh, so I think it's just, it's just great. And let me tell you something. If they, these kids are able to win this game, these two games, it would be arguably the greatest victory in college basketball history. And they have Sister Jean. And they got Sister Jean, <laughs> yeah. I know, uh, and she has been amazing. She is so thoughtful in her speech. She, gives, she always gives the other team credit, and and she always says something about, you know, we're a little small school, and, that, and she says no disrespect to the big schools, which is <laughs> for her to be her age and have the fourth row not to want to offend anybody is pretty cool. Well, I think we're in for a treat at the Alamo. We we we're in for a treat at the Alamo. Yes, we are. Chuck, always right, quick, boy, thanks, my brother. Yes, sir. For sure.